In order to draw an ellipse, the best way to go about it is to draw a vertical line in the center of a horizontal line. Now, whatever this distance is, you draw a circle at the end of this horizontal line. The circle itself is about one half of this distance. In other words, there's the size of the circle, and you draw one at the other end, which is as near the proportions as the ones that you've just drawn. In other words, these are about the same. Then you turn the paper and get an arc from the top of this circle to that point and back into the top of the end circle. Then you rotate the paper once again and go from the circle to that dot into this circle. Then you turn it back to the horizontal. This is approximately the way you draw an ellipse. In order to clean it up, you have to turn the paper again and clean up these lines so that they flow smoothly. No abrupt change in the line. Then finish this off smoothly and then work on this end. You don't have to worry about the inside of the ellipse. Once you get that, you turn it over again, reverse it, and you clean this line up. I'm about to draw a glass, and when I do, before I even start anything, I draw a line which will look like the letter H. I then draw a center line. I even turn the paper to make it easier, to make sure that this crosses at right angles to the center line. The bottom line also crosses at right angles to the center line. I then form an ellipse around the upper line. I then form an ellipse on the lower system, but the ellipse is somewhat deeper. I then join both ends. I then heavy up the outline of the ellipse so it's very clear, and I use the natural movement of the wrist to get the right curvature. I also clean up this line on the bottom. This is basically how we draw a glass.